Hey everyone, Jesse here with Plant Propagation USA. Um, this is the low cost aquaponics build, and I'll just go through the setup that I have right now. These are um, 27 gallon HDX um, totes from Home Depot. Right now in 2020, they're like $8 um, per tote, so. Um, the idea behind this aquaponics system is that, you know, try to keep it around $100. Um, used primarily for just keeping fish in the system and then also propagating plants. Um, so three totes at eight bucks, $24 or so. Um, I have a 500 gallon per hour pump and that's uh, $40. And then we have random PVC pipe pieces and everything like that. So, you know, we're right around the $100 mark. Um, I'm gonna use this Hydrotone clay pebbles and you'll stick your pieces of plant in there and they'll root out in that system. And then I have um, some of these smaller seven gallon HDX totes and I'm gonna drill a hole um, in the middle of it, put in a bulkhead. So it'll sit right there. Um, you'll have a pipe that comes up. Um, it'll probably be you know, an inch or two below the top level. That'll set the water height so it'll fill up to whatever level. And then as soon as it hits that, it'll siphon down and drain. And it'll do that over and over and over. Um, and that's how the plants will root out. On this side we have uh, the fish. The fish are in here right now. I got a couple little like minnow type fish in there. Uh, you can kind of see them down there. No, you probably can't see them. Um, so slowly I'll just fill it up more and more. Um, and then the last piece to this is this PVC pipe. So let me grab another one. And basically all it is you have um, one inch PVC with two 90s and it just sits in the water. Um, in order to, so basically this is to keep both sides the same height. If one side is lower, it's going to push water into the other side and vice versa. The way that it works is if both, um, both ends of this pipe are in the water so they don't get any air in them and then you blow out or take out all the air from this pipe so what I've been doing is I will uh, fill up both sides you know the water level will be up here and I'll take off the PVC pipe to that pump and so it pushes a ton of water through and I will put one side of the pipe over that pump and it'll push water all through here and start the uh, the siphon. So I'll have a couple of those between all three systems, um, just because I want um, I don't want to have any bulkheads down here lower that could potentially leak. It's all you know above um, each tote. So what I'm going to do is uh, drill out a hole for this one. I have this uh, hole saw. It is a one and a half inch hole saw. And these are uh, bulkhead fittings, which accept three quarter inch uh, PVC male threaded, uh, male to female uh, fittings. And so I'll, I'll link to all these items um, on Amazon so that you can do the same thing. And I will show kind of what that finished product looks like. All right, so we got this all hooked up. I tightened that as best I could with just finger tight. Um, the beauty of this is, is even if that is leaking, well, you're right below another tank, so it's just gonna leak right into the tank, so it's not a big deal. Um, so the most important thing is we will put a, uh, a three quarter inch pipe in there. I'll put a two inch pipe on top and I'll have holes around the bottom of that two inch pipe. That pipe has a cap on it and that allows kind of a suction vacuum to drain it all the way to the bottom every time it fills up to that inner pipe level. Um, I will do that later and then we'll fill it up. I'll have to kind of build something that can 
keep out those clay balls from the bottom of that pipe and then it'll raise and lower as we need it. All right, so starting off with the uh, drain pipe, Let's see if I can just cut off a little section. I don't want it too big. So I'm just using these PVC cutters that I've used forever. Come on. So if you can see, um, that is going to be the height of the water level. You can raise this, you can lower it, whatever size you want. The next piece, you have the two inch pipe right there. Um, I'm going to it'll sit right there just like that and I'll probably put it, you know, I'll probably cut it a little bit above that so maybe right there and I'll use a, uh, a jigsaw because I don't really have a, a chop saw if you had that you could do that or something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that we're also gonna drill in the bottom of the pipe and let me just do one of those I think this is like a quarter inch bit and so you want to get as close to the bottom as you can without shattering the pipe and usually I go through both sides and I just rotate and do it over and over and over so you want to space them out maybe a quarter inch or so So I'll finish this pipe up and show you what it looks like. All right. So we have the two inch PVC pipe plus the two inch cap. Um, nothing is glued on at this point. I'm going to forego this inner pipe. So now it's making the water level just right there. So when this fills up to that water level in there, it's going to create a suction and drain everything and dump it down into here. On the bottom side, we just have a three quarter inch PVC going into the bulkhead up there. A little tiny section, maybe inch, two inches of three quarter inch PVC going into this 90, which is going into about a four or five inch PVC pipe to another 90. Just an added length right there gives it a little better suction whenever it does start. I'm going to start loading this thing up with some water if I can to kind of show you what it looks like. Let's see if I can do this in a semi. I don't think it's going to work. Let me figure some out and I'll show you that part. All right, let's see if we can do this one handed. I got a bucket of water that I'm going to dump in there. So, as you can see, the water is being sucked out right now, and it's going to go past that top line. It's going to go all the way to the bottom, as far as possible, to that pipe. Until it gets air in the system, and then it'll stop the siphon. So you can see that it's below where this level is. It went all the way to the bottom. So everything will be controlled, the water flow by that um, hose bib. We'll fill this up, I need to protect something, um, put something around this. We'll put in all the clay pebbles in here, and then um, we can start putting plants in there or whatever we want to do to start growing stuff. So with that, that's the low cost aquaponics system. Like I said, for around $100, you can have 75 gallons or so of water, and you could do multiple of these. Uh, little grow beds uh, depending on what you want to do. So thanks for watching.